Hi, this is Chris from Data Robot, and I'm excited to demo a new MLOps agent that is coming in our MLOps 7.1 release. Today, Data Robot MLOps agents are responsible for monitoring your models no matter where they are located and sending this information back to MLOps to ensure there is a central pane of glass where you can understand how your model is functioning in production. We thought we could do better and extend this agent concept to actually fulfilling the process of deploying your models on any infrastructure in your organization, whether on-prem or in the cloud. The management agent automates seamless, governed, one-click deployment for non-coders, such as citizen data scientists and business analysts. In addition to deployment, it automates integration with the monitoring agent to streamline reporting back to data about MLOps, ensuring users can take advantage of all the features there, such as drift and accuracy monitoring, as well as utilizing our Challenger framework. I'll quickly demonstrate this process by deploying a model directly into an Azure Kubernetes cluster, but do keep in mind that the management agent provides the framework to do this in any environment with any type of model. Starting in Data Robot, I have defined my Azure Kubernetes prediction environment. I've also noted that it is supported by the management agent and that this plugin for the agent understands how to deploy Data Robot models. In this case, since Kubernetes is a container environment, we will be using the portable prediction server. But other types of environments are supported as well. Say, for example, you wish to deploy Java scoring code in a serverless architecture. I have two deployments already in flight, and hopping over to Azure, I can see them there. I can also see the management agent is deployed. Let's deploy a third model. I'll give it a name. I'll choose which prediction environment represents AKS. And after a couple other settings, I'll click Deploy. The deployment in MLOps begins. Here we are executing our standard baseline calculations, which are used to power our drift and accuracy reporting. In the meantime, the management agent has noticed this new deployment assigned to the AKS prediction environment and has begun to take action remotely. I can tab over to pods and see that we have started to build a new image to deploy this model. Once complete, we begin to stand up both the model as well as the monitoring agent to ensure we receive details back on the prediction requests made in this remote environment. Now that the model is built and deployed, we can return back to ML apps where we have received the details on the endpoint specific to this new deployment, and then I can start making predictions. To surface more information about what's happening remotely, the Service Health dashboard has also been augmented. Here we can see the remote events that are occurring, such as the deployment entering a warning state as it's scaled to meet increased prediction demand. This demo has really only scratched the surface of the different situations where we think the management agent can be extremely beneficial. Definitely reach out to your Data Robot success team to learn more, and thank you for watching.